Hey everybody, Joy here. It is Friday, February 1, 2019. And this is the very day Jerry and I got married 44 years ago. Second marriage for both of us, but <laughs> this time we got it right. We've been married 44 years. <laughs> When we got married, we each had a little girl. His little girl was two and mine was four. So as far as they've known, it's always been that way in their life. And so it just, it worked really well from the beginning. So anyway, he's at work. I'm not because I retired yesterday, remember? January 31, it's my retirement day. The, ki the kids, I'll call them my kids. Um, the employees uh, surprised me and took me to lunch on um, Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday was the day before I retired, but there's um, a couple employees that only work part-time, so we had to do it that day so they could come. So we had a real nice lunch, and they bought me those balloons, you know, that fly up in the air, and they have confetti in them, and they say congratulations and stuff. And they had a big table prepared at the restaurant, and everything was really, really nice. And so then yesterday, I took everybody a surprise. But uh, I can't tell you what it is because we're having another um, dinner uh, for my retirement for our other store on Monday. So I can't say too much. <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to tell you guys my last video, which was almost 30 minutes long, um, we talked about my husband and how he was sitting next to me at the bar one night. We were eating our dinner. And um, he told me what he wanted to do when he retired. <laughs> I about fell off the bar stool. <laughs> I'm like, you are kidding me. <laughs> so anyway, we're playing a game, trying to figure out what he told me. I told him, I said, I want you to come and be in my video and tell everybody what it was. But um, if he does that, then you guys will know what it is, and you'll have to quit guessing, won't you? <laughs> so you guys guessed that he wanted to learn to sew, or he wanted to learn to quilt, or he wanted to be a fishing guide, or he wanted to travel, or he wanted to learn to ride a horse. <laughs> he grew up riding horses, you guys, so he doesn't need to learn how to ride a horse. So anyway, none of those was what he said. So I guess we can keep on playing until you guys guess, huh? And I will send you a surprise. And you can tell me if you want it to be a quilting surprise, or a sewing surprise, or a jewelry surprise. <laughs> okay. So, this video is to answer the question that one of you asked me about the red blouse that I was wearing in my last video. It was all red and it had little cap sleeves on it. And one of you said, I want to know what sure fit pattern number that is. <laughs> Evidently, you are a new viewer and you haven't seen my dozens of SureFit Designs videos from way back when, when I first got my system. But SureFit Designs doesn't, doesn't have patterns. They don't have pattern numbers. SureFit Designs is a system that you buy, and it helps you make patterns. Okay? They don't have numbers. It gives you master patterns, and then you draw your shirt, or you draw your blouse, or you draw your sleeve, or you draw your skirt, or you draw your pants, following dot to dot, dot to dot. And there's just, there's honestly over 100, maybe over 200 videos. If you'll just go to YouTube and search for SureFit, S-U-R-E-F-I-T, SureFit Designs. Or the lady that owns it, her name's Glenda Sparling, S-P, like Sparrow, S-P-A-R-L-I-N-G. And you can just watch videos for days and days and days and days. In fact, that's what I did when I first learned about this system. <laughs> and if you go to her website, which is surefitdesigns.com, you can look around until you find her library. And if you go to her library, she has a list of all of her videos. And, and there's kind of this little guide that tells you if the videos are about shirts or if they're about dresses or if they're about pants and what the subject is. So you can do it that way too. <clears throat> Give me two seconds to take a break to get a drink of water. I'll be right back. Yeah, it's three o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> Can't do any kind of coffee this hour of the day, decaf or otherwise. So, 
my chair leg is hitting the wood. Let me get my chair in the right position. <laughs> this is an easy making these videos, guys. <laughs> Isn't that right, Becky? <laughs> so anyway, where was I? <laughs> sure Fit Designs. Yes, I have the dress kit and I have the pants kit. One of you have asked me several times about pants. And Viv Mom said, go over there and find out from Joy how you fit pants. Well, this is how Joy fits pants. The Sure Fit Designs Pants Kit. And you can get all of your measurements directly on the pattern that will be made to fit your body. First time I made it, the pants came out perfect. So, I used to make a bunch of pants, but now, I'm into the stretchy pants, as you know. You saw the crazy, crazy video I made of the stretchy pants. And I'm um, using uh, a Jaylee pattern to make those. You can use this too. You can use this too. But I don't have that hard a time fitting pants. I've made so many pair of them that I can take any pant pattern and pretty much make it fit me. Because I know all the little tricks I need to do for my body. And once you draw a pair for your body, You'll see, oh, I need to add here, I need to subtract here, I need to shorten here, I need to lengthen here, I need to make the crotch longer, shorter, higher, lower, whatever. But the only way you're ever going to really be good at it is to do it, do it, do it, and do it again. And if you screw up, Becky just told me last week she had two waters. I had several waters recently. I've been sewing for years and so has Becky. Sometimes things just don't turn out. And when that happens, you know, I threw those crazy pants in the trash. <laughs> and I hope they're still in the trash when I get up there because Jerry really likes them. But sometimes things don't turn out. And if that happens, I just consider it a very inexpensive course that I just took. A lesson that I learned. And so I don't consider it a waste of time, even if the pattern ends up in the trash, and the garment ends up in the trash. I just consider that a lesson. And then I just go on and cut out another one and start over. So anyway, don't worry about that. Okay, the pattern for the red shirt. Here's the red fabric. It's just a knit. It's, I think it's a cotton knit. Really soft, I love this top. And I have enough fabric here to make another one, but I'm gonna wait till spring and I'm gonna make a sleeveless one. So I wanted to show you, I made my sure fit designs Trace my master pattern for just a plain, ordinary top. Then, I cut it out. Then I decided I wanted to have a V-neck, so I made a V-neck. Then I decided I wanted to have a boat neck, so I made a boat neck. And I was too lazy to completely redraw the whole top and make the changes that I make, so I just did flip a neck. <laughs> See that? V-neck, boat neck. V-neck, boat neck. <laughs> Same sleeve, same bottom. When I made it with the SureFit Designs Master Pattern, it had a C cup dart. She has a template that you make your darts with. Made my dart, then I cut it and I closed it up and I cut all these slits at the bottom. And then you close the dart and all your slits, they just open up like that. Does that show? They're all closed. And then as you close, you close this. This play like this is upper dart, you close it and then the bottom opens, 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 opens. And so then all of this space down here that opens up is the C cup that you closed up here. So it's still a C cup dart and it's still on the blouse and it is totally awesome. Peggy Sagers does this all the time. You guys know Peggy Sagers. Peggy Sagers does a live video on YouTube every other Monday night and she does a sewing technique like every Thursday. Go to Peggy Sager. She drives my friend Phyllis nuts. Phyllis can't stand to watch her. <laughs> but she's so good. She means so well. She is not the world's best teacher, and she knows it. She's not the world's best teacher, but she's very talented, and she's very, very willing to teach you what she knows, although I think she does a poor job of explaining a lot of things and teaching. I've actually talked to her on the phone and emailed her and gone around and around and around. I never could figure out what she was trying to tell me. <laughs> but nevertheless, she's still very, very talented and extremely generous with her information. She sells fabric and she sells notions and you can get that from her too, but she doesn't let you return fabric anymore, so I don't buy fabric from her now. 
but she does lots and lots and lots of fitting tips. Uh, lots of her videos, and you can see all of them on YouTube. Look up Silhouette Patterns or Peggy Sager's YouTube videos, and hopefully they'll have a title where she's doing fitting. She has a lot of them with her neighbor that lives across the street from her. It was a customer that was buying things from her, and the customer was asking her questions, and uh, Peggy said, well, let me mail something to you to help you with that. I don't know if they were emailing or talking on the phone. <clears throat> and Peggy said, well, tell me your address and I'll mail you something for that. And so the lady gave her address. Turned out she lived right across the street from her. <laughs> so her name, I think her name was Lois. And so she came over and she and Peggy did a whole bunch of videos together. And they're fabulous. Lois is a great personality, beautiful, beautiful lady, gray-haired lady. And she made some gorgeous clothes. And so Peggy and she together talk about how she made each one, how she made each one fit, how she altered it. So if you guys want to learn how to sew, you're going to have to put some time into learning all the tips and tricks. I am 68 years old, and I have been learning how to sew since I was 15. So <laughs> you never, ever know it all. Now, this pattern, you'll draw a front, you'll draw a back. My back has two necklines too. Look here, flip a back, flip a back neck. That neck or that neck, that neck or that neck. <laughs> Cause you have to line the shoulders up with the front. So the back, draw your back, you put your fit into it. This has a sway back, this has a round back. And then it has the flip a neck. Then there's a master pattern to draw your sleeve. And there's a master pattern that's only for knits, and there's a master pattern that's only for wovens. Okay? Now, the, the front and the back, there's only one pattern for. And she tells you to just go down one or two dots if you're going to use a knit. But I didn't go down any dots, so I don't think. I might have. I don't know. I drew that so long ago, but I worn it out. Now, when you draw the sleeve pattern, it's up to you how you want it to be. Do you want it to be a long sleeve? Do you want it to be a three-quarter sleeve? Do you want it to be a short sleeve? Or do you want it to be this cute little cat sleeve? And I know you can see all these cuts up here. What these marks are up at the top of this sleeve is I have a forward shoulder. And so I move this seam forward a quarter of an inch. Actually, this says half an inch. So I move this seam forward a half inch, and then I change the sleeve to add a half inch to the back and take a half inch off the front. So this, for, so this sleeve, but most of you won't have to do that. Even if you have a forward shoulder, it's not the end of the world. There's no particular dart or dot that God put on your shoulder and said your seam must be here. <laughs> this is Peggy Sager's. The seam is where the seam is. There's no law that it has to be at a certain place. But as a general rule, you like the seam to be where you can't see it from the front. Your eye just floats over it, and then you can't see it from the back or from the front. It's just kind of in the middle. So that's kind of where most people like it to be. But no law says it has to be there, okay? In fact, if you have a yoke in the front and a yoke in the back, you're going to have a seam here and a seam down here, and no seam on your shoulder. So, okay? So anyway, the only other thing that you might care about is how I finish the neck. How I finish the neck in a knit, in a knit. We're talking about knits, in a knit, in a knit. You finish the neck with a slice of the knit, stretchy part going around, okay? I cut mine one and a half. You could cut it two inches. You could actually fold it in half and do it double like when you do a quilt. But I just do mine single. Hold on, I need a drink. So what you do is, and I usually do this right after I sew the shoulder seam together. If I know this thing fits me and I'm not going to have to change anything on the shoulders, I sew the shoulders together and then I do the neck. So you measure around the neck. Hey, do you guys know about this wheelie dilly? This is really cool. This is a roller measuring, not a measuring tape, it's a measuring wheel. And so you put it down and you start on zero and then you roll it around the neck on the seam line. You're going to take a 3 8 inch seam, you roll this 3 8 inch down from the edge, your shoulders are sewn together, start at one shoulder, 
roll it around. Let's play like this is my blouse. I don't know if you can see it. Let's play like this is my blouse. And it's sewn together. <coughs> I've got two tops going here. So, well, I can't because the whole thing is in here. But anyway, you would start and you would roll this around on the 3 8 inch line, okay? And you would measure it all the way around. Then you would take that number. Say that number's 24 inches. It usually comes up 24 inches on me. You go to your calculator or your phone calculator. You put in 24 times 7 divided by 8 equals. And on mine, it usually comes up 21.88 inches, I think. And so I just go up to 22, and then I take a quarter inch seam in this long strip. I cut it 22 inches, then I take the seam, okay? Then you mark this in quarters, and you mark, <coughs> sorry guys, I don't know what's wrong with my throat. You mark your top in quarters. This would be, you would do middle of the front, middle of the back, fold it, put those together, then mark those other two places. And so you have quarters on your neck of your blouse, and you have quarters on your binding. Oh, yes, yeah, stick it in your water, Joy. <laughs> don't do that. Ah, it's not really working. I need a cough drop. Okay. I got this on the internet, probably Amazon. I don't, let me see if it says what it's called. It's called Luna Graphics. <coughs> L U N A space G R A F I X. Luna Graphics Curve Ruler. Awesome tool. Learned it from Sandra Betzina. So you got to have one of those. Not really. You can use a regular measuring tape. <laughs> but I like all the little gadgets. It makes it more fun to sew. Okay. So then you just mark your four points. Sew all around. And then you turn it and you press up the seam toward this um, binding. And then you fold it back in and you sew all around at 3 8 inch or half inch or whatever you want. And then whatever is left hanging down, you just cut that off. Cut it carefully. You don't want to cut a hole in your neck. This one's that way, I'm sure. It is that way. Let me see if I can come up close to the camera and show you. I'll try. I don't, I don't think that's working. <laughs> Don't do miracles. See, the outside there's a seam, and I top stitched it, and on the inside it's just a short little um, binding because I trimmed it close to the stitching. Okay? I should take it off, but then I'd be naked, so that wouldn't work. Okay, and I showed you how to do the hem in it the other day, and I think that's all. So, I am going to go find some more fabric <laughs> and cut out another blouse. When I get up to my other house, I'm going to be playing with Philly next week. Next Thursday, Philly's coming to pick me up and we're going to go to Club Day at Be So In, which is where we both bought our Solarises, our Solaris sewing embroidery machines. And I have never gotten to go to the monthly club meeting because I've been working. <laughs> so she's going to pick me up. And we're going to go there, and then we're going to go to lunch, and then we're going to go shopping, and then we're going to go back to my house. So maybe I'll get some clips of that day for you guys, because I know you really like Philly. So that's all I know for now. So until next time, bye for now. And remember this, I'm going to be in Edmond, and in Edmond we have lightning fast internet speed, so I can make even more videos for you. Okay? So if you want me to tell you how to do something, let me know and keep guessing what my husband wants to do when he retires, which will be November of 2019. Bye for now.